Hey everyone, it has been a long time since I have done a time lapse with you. And the thing is, I just keep forgetting. When I'm doing a study or painting, sometimes I'm just so into it that I forget to record and then I'm often bummed because I'm like, I could have totally shared that. So last night I got inspired by Halloween and fall and thought, all right, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna record it this time. But I'm also gonna do it in a really weird way. So I often use ultramarine blue to do some shadowing. Not always, but it is something that I use. This time I decided to use ultramarine as the complete undertone with a little bit of yellow. It's like a Naples yellow that you're seeing. It makes this very creamy, interesting, strange tone. I'm now adding a little bit of burnt umber around the eyes and some quin coral around the cheeks. And I'm using Daniel Smith watercolors as well as I'm using Karen Dash luminance and polychromos. So the skin tone is looking pretty weird here and her facial expression, if you're catching it, she looks like she's like, mm. she looks very angry. <laughs> <laughs> just like not please so that was fun so I'm going in there and I'm building up all of these layers I'm adding some white I'm adding more grays I'm adding light grays I'm adding pinks and I'm just seeing if I can do something in a direction that I like again I have not ever tried this in this way usually when I lay down uh, shadows with ultramarine I will then mix a skin tone. My skin tones are often mixed with yellow ochre, quinacridone coral, and a tiny bit of ultramarine blue if I need to mute it out a tiny bit. But that's the skin tone that I'm usually using. So this is a far cry from anything that I normally do. The yellow was a big risk, but I'm really liking it. And I've been able to layer over and over again which is great. This paper that I'm using is Waterford, uh, Saunders Waterford paper, which I absolutely love. It is also a paper that you really need to be gentle on. You can't be digging your colored pencils in. So next I am working on her shirt in the background. So the shirt is made with James Gray Blue Orange Shade, which is a new Daniel Smith watercolor that came out I think a year ago, maybe two. And I'll make sure I link a video below because I did a video on those colors. During that time, they also came out with King's blue something, some raspberry color, another type of a yellow, and then a Jane's gray red green shade. And I love them both quite a lot. To get the background tone a muted blue, I went ahead and mixed ultramarine with buff titanium. And also on the hair, if you see that gray, I'm taking that Jane's gray blue orange and I went ahead and mixed in buff titanium as well. So I'm going to work with a black Caran d'Ache pencil because they are less likely to bloom and add in some strands of hair here. And now I'm going to add the butterflies. So some of these are going to be done with water color and other ones will be done with colored pencil. Darkening the hair again, adding more to it. Didn't like the way it was laying that time, so I'm doing it again. And then we add more butterflies. I wanna add one to the shirt. Add a little bit of details around the hair again. And that's pretty much it. The next step I'm gonna move into is doing splatters. So I did some black splatters, and then I also added some drips, as you can see, to add more interest to the painting. That was a lot of fun. I'm now using Schmincke, 
aqua bronze, pale gold, and I'm gonna sprinkle that around a little bit. I'm in love with everything that shimmers. This took me a long time to try. Here we go. And come in and add a couple more butterflies. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this painting. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel, and I hope I will see you again in another video really soon. Thank you.